Good morning everyone and welcome to a nice dull sort of dull but bright morning in, in December. I'm not really sure how it can be dull and bright at the same time, but it does appear to be. Still. Very nice, cold, crisp crisp morning. And uh and it's a day that I've actually been looking forward to because what we're gonna get to try out are much better. The one that we restored. And what I want to do after the after, so uh, first things first after the after the hectic night last that we uh, in the last bit of log we um, managed to get everything away and it was absolutely chucking it down so I, I came home got, got had a shower and everything uh, and, and then I remembered to pay pay the loan so I did pay two thousand pound off the loan. However, you'll notice that we, the bank balance has gone up again, and that's because we've still got plenty of silage that's being worked through at the biogas plant, which is fantastic. Now, uh, yes, we need to get the muck spreader out, pull it into the cow field, and then we need to use our, I say our, sorry, the New Holland that we, we have on trial at the minute to, um, to fill it up. And once we've got this muck spread on as much of the field down the bottom as possible, or the two fields that are left, the two sections that are left down the bottom, um, then we need to uh, we need to have a bit of a rear range of the yard, I think, because uh, things th th we're starting to get more and more kit. And things are building up in here, and there's there's not a lot of room, so that will be something to do later on. Anyway, until that point. Let's get out the muck spreader and get it filled, filled up, filled up. Then we can try it out for the first time. Uh, I have had a thought about what crops we can put in down the bottom here. I think one of the, I, I definitely want to do some sugar beet uh, and use that harvester that we found in the hedgerows. Uh, I think, I think the best thing to do at the minute would be to get some soybean in into the other field. Uh, obviously not right now, but in the in the spring, um, yeah. There's in the UK. There's been a bit of a heat wave, and uh, a lot of the soybean crops have gone to gone to waste, uh, just not getting enough enough water. So um, so yeah, a soybean crop I think for next year would be the right thing for one of these one of these fields. Right then, I'm going to crack on, get everything hooked up, and uh, yeah, we'll get it all loaded so that we can try it out for the first time. I'm really excited about this. Right, I'm going to leave that there warming up for a bit while I get the um, front loader tractor ready, the New Holland ready. Need a bucket. I need a rear weight. One thing I've noticed is that this is a much louder tractor than any other tractor I've had before. Hey, okay. 
Lucy. Nose it in over here. And I need to open up the flap. There we go. Right. Can't imagine, based on what we push, push, push is it? Can't imagine what we've done previously, but this load is going to go that far. But let's see. Always hopefully finish it off with some slowing. Now, one thing that I've noticed is that it is extremely important to get some natural fertilizer on the fields before we get anything seeded, and that is because it will massively reduce the amount of chemical fertiliser we have to use and that stuff costs some fortune so that's, that's working nicely right to get get some more loads in there but yeah it's it's hugely important to get some nat natural fertiliser on the on the field before anything's planted because it's just absolutely Absolute free, free byproduct of having cows, and uh, and it hugely reduces the amount of money we have to spend on fertilisers. So it is the um, yeah, absolute must do. Right, I shall see you when I've either loaded it all or it's full. So we've got a, a full fertiliser spreader. And we've got a, a another bucket load here. Um, that was all that was left in the cow field. So um, I thought I'd bring it down here, and that way we can just pop it into the much spreader when it's uh, run out and finish it off that way. Anyway, close that off there. Working well so far. Let's get back and. Uh, and get the other tractor. So I am really glad that the weather's cleared up since last night. I mean, there are a few puddles and wet patches around still, but all in all, much nicer morning. It's still chilly. It's quite. It's really cold. And now we're into December, but um, but at least it's uh, it's not wet. Okay, which side did it fling out of this side? So I'll drive up here. Okay, switch it on. Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh, that's working much better than I expected. Right, I think this is going to go well. Beautiful. That spread really nicely. I'm really pleased with that. Right, I'm going to go around and do the headland. And then we, uh, we'll crack on with the rest of it. Given that that's, that's taken a good sort of thousand litres out of the... Uh, just for one strip down there, I can guarantee we're not going to cover the field with what we've got. 
But it's a good start. It's a good start. get that last bucket load into the uh oh, I left the beacon on on the new holland that's no good end up with a flat battery let's get the last load in we'll just finish off with what we've got in the truck and it's not going to uh not going to take us long and it's certainly not going to um it's not going to do the whole field I don't know about you guys, but I, uh, I'm i really impressed with that New Holland, and I think... Uh, I'm, I'm impressed with everything at the minute, aren't I? That's what it seems like. Anyway, that New Holland, I think, is going to be a welcome addition to the farm. And this much better. <laughs> I'm so happy with it. We spent all those hours in the evening restoring it. And it's working absolutely beautifully. I couldn't have asked for better. I imagined it would need tweaking a little bit or something, but this is just incredible. Anyway, let's get rid of all this. It won't take long. And then we'll see how much we've got in the way of slurry. Well, that was it. Didn't even cover another, another time around the field. Let's go get this put away then we'll put it back where it was before I'll we'll have to try and finish the rest off with slurry now I did I do remember that um, as I said in the last vlog we get access to the the digestate that the biogas plant has or at least the stuff that was created from uh, processing our silage so it might be an option to see how much of that is left as well forgotten about that but that might keep us going so that'll be good anyway let's get this back in here We'll get the, um, get the slurry spreader and see how much we've got. I'm pretty sure it's already full. I'll check the tank in, in the, the main the slurry pit to see how much is in there as well. Excuse me, cows. They're really not bothered. Obviously, been around farm machinery a lot, and they're really not uh, not bothered by this. Anyway, I've got some big news as well. Bruce has been busy. 
Um, and a lot of the a lot of the cows are pregnant. You can tell by the way they're walking. So yeah, we should be uh, we should be getting some um, some calves soon. Get some uh, yeah, and and that'd be that'd be brilliant. Once we've started um, getting some calves, one of my viewers suggested going down the artificial insemination route, which is probably a bit cleaner than uh, the whole roof situation. But um, yeah, happy cows, happy cows. Obviously, more cows means we need to produce more food for them, but that's okay because we've got plenty of that. Uh, right, I'll, I was just going to check how much is left in the slurry pit, so we know. So it's an eight eight thousand litre spreader. Let's have a look. All right, the gauge says we have about thirteen thousand litres in the slurry pit as well, so we've got another two and a half. Uh, sorry, we've got another loading a loading a bit, um, which is great news. Actually, the cows are really good. They don't wander off anywhere. They, they know what's good for them, so they'll stay there. Um, right, so let's go and spread this. And we'll see if we can spread the... Uh, we'll see if we, how much of the, the other field we can get done as well. And then it might be worth a trip up to the biogas plant to get some digestate, just to finish off. Slurry goes a lot further than than the uh, solid fertilizer or the, the muck, I should say. We managed to get the rest of that field done and nearly the full headland of that one done with one tank load. And we've got another tank and a half to go, so we're definitely going to be able to get it all done in this. Which leaves the digestate. Uh, maybe we could use the digestate on the grass field, but I think before I do that, I'd want to give this uh, this tank a good clean and a, a bit of a service. finishing off this and we didn't even know, need to go back for any more well I'm really pleased with that you know at some point I'm gonna have to get some uh, soil samples taken of, of all these areas probably I would say after the harvest next year we'll get maybe get a soil sampler after the harvest next year and we'll go from there but yeah, pleased with that. Uh, tell you what, let's get this equipment cleaned off. Get the bucket cleaned out as well, because it's just been full of poo. And uh, then maybe we'll have a look at. Well, we've got to get we've got to get that stuff cultivated in. Um, so that it doesn't get washed off in the rain and then yeah then we'll look at rearranging all the tools in the yard I think all the bits and pieces all right then so that's that little bit of work done cleaning the bucket off nice that looks nice and shiny now Uh, yeah, so I gave the um, gave the uh, muck spreader, slurry spreader. That's what I'm looking for. A nice clean. Um, and once I'd cleaned it all off, it looks it looked like it was brand new again. And the um, I gave the pump a little bit of a service on it as well. Uh, just made, greased a few bits and pieces, and you know, next time next time we do it, it'll work much better, I think. Anyway. That's the bucket all cleaned out. 
Um, like I said before, I've got the cultivating to do because what we, the last thing we want to do is to spread all that muck and then let it go to waste because the rain washes it away. So we'll get it all cultivated into the ground. Um, but I think before that, I'm just going to shift this out of the way. I might have a bit of a late lunch today because I had a bit of a late breakfast. So let's put this back in the cow shed over here. And then we'll get onto the cultivator. I'm really seriously looking forward to getting these fields. Uh, getting these fields sown as well and then uh, yeah we're, we're gonna have some some profit in the ground right I'll get on and do this Well, this first field's looking good, although it's taken a lot longer than I thought. Yeah, it's taken an hour and a bit. Uh, however, that's not that long in the grand scheme of things. Cultivators take so much power, and with only small equipment around, around the farm, I, I can't get a bigger cultivator. But I'll tell you what, the uh, like, there are a lot of stones here, aren't there? I might have to invest in a roller, or at least rent a roller, to get these ones sorted at some point. Um, anyway, I'm going to finish off this field here. And... Um, get that all done. And then I'll catch up with you. Well, that's that field done. It is now 10 to 3, and I am hungry. So I'm going to go put this back in the yard, go and get some lunch, and then we can uh, we can head down the dealership if there's, if there's still time. Oh, my phone's ringing. What is that? Have a look. International number. Huh. Okay. Hello, Robert speaking. 
Right. Thanks very much, Frank. Uh, I'll, I'll speak to you soon. I'll speak to Abby and, and I'll let you know. Well, you, uh, you're you not going to believe who that was, but uh, I've got a cousin, Frank, who lives out in America. Uh, he heard, he's heard he been watching the videos and he's heard about um, what's been going on over here. And he's asked me if I want to go out there f go out there for a month and help him out with his logging business. Now, I need to speak to Abby, because obviously that's... A month is a long time. Uh, but I'd be going out towards, towards the end of January and coming back towards the end of February. And I, to be honest, I don't know the first thing about logging, so I'd be learning from him at the same time. That's lots to think about there. Anyway, I'm going to go have some lunch. Maybe I'll have a conversation with Abby about it. You right, love? Hi, babe. So you'll never guess who just called me? The Queen. It wasn't Father the qu Christmas. Okay, not not again. <laughs> Sorry. So yeah, it was um, it was my cousin Frank. He is calling from America, and he's just called to. He's been watching the videos and stuff on the on the on the YouTube, and uh, and he he wants to um. He, he wants me to come over and. Uh, and do a bit of work with him. All right, um, okay. What sort of work? Well, he's got his logging business out there, hasn't he? He's, he's obviously moved out to America, and he's got his logging business, and he wants me to come and help out and do some videos and things out there, and yeah. So, 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 hang on. So you're leaving me? That's what I'm asking. So, uh, <laughs> so yeah, he, he wants me to come out for about a month. Now, the, there's not a lot of, of work on the farm during... February and he suggested sort of end of January to the end of February really okay so does that mean that I've got to stay here and look after everything on my own then yeah it is just the animals though just worry about feeding the animals no I can do that that's not a problem as long as you show me everything that I need to do yeah and leave me what I need have they got enough total Mitch ration yeah they have got everything they need they just they just need you to give it them okay well we uh, spent time apart when I was in London and we were selling the house, so I'm sure it's doable. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. This okay. is, I think this is a great opportunity. Yeah, no, it'll Plus, be it'll, great. Plus, br it'll bring quite a bit of money in as well. Well, that's always a good thing. <laughs> Thanks, sweetie. Right then, so you heard the conversation. Um, yeah, looks like I've, I'm going to... Yeah, I'm going to call back and accept the uh, invitation. That's gonna be a. Uh, that's gonna be. That's gonna be a real um, interesting trip. Really interesting trip. All right. For now, though, I'm going to go uh, up to the store and see what the other wrapped bail grab they have for me is. Let's see what they can give me for that and what they've got in stock. Okay, so the, the good news is they gave me uh, just over a thousand pound back for the other uh, bail um, handler. And this is what I've bought instead. This, this is a bail grab. And this was uh, just over seventeen hundred pounds. So, yep, it was extra seven hundred quid to um, to get that. But I think it'll be worth it. But what I do need to do is convert the bale wrapper that I've got to one that flips the bales onto its end. So that they're easier to to pick up. Right then. 
I'm going to leave the um, now that we're back I'm going to leave the vlog there for today so thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time bye for now a new place a new home for a while let me feel alive nothing to hold me back take my time just enjoy the ride